Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a copy of and edit the Jeopardy game board template that I've made in Google Slides. Now, let's get started here, and we'll say that you already have the link to this template. And that's linked up down below the video here, as well as in my blog post, as well as on Facebook. Now, you have that link. And the first thing that's going to happen is you'll be able to open it up and look at it this way. But you want to make your own copy. If you went to the file menu right now, all you'd see is download as and all those options. You need to sign into your Google account. And here we'll sign into my dog Mason's Google account. And now go to the file menu and select make a copy. So now you have your own copy that you can modify to suit your needs. So we'll call it copy of Jeopardy game board template, US history. We'll say I'm making a US history game. Now I'm going to want to change the headings from category numbers to actual headings. So we'll call this one US history until 1877. And now I'm going to change each one of these individual slides from just category one to the topic to match. So we'll call it U.S. history until 1877. And we'll put our first question in here. We'll change that to first president of the United States. So now I'll just repeat that process over and over again until I've filled out all of the questions that I want. Now, in terms of using this in your classroom, when you go to the present button, hit present, and let's say the student calls out, Mr. Byrne, I'll take U.S. history until 1877 for 100. Click on that. And now they see, all right, there's the prompt. If we're playing Jeopardy, that's the answer that they give us the question, who was George Washington? And once they've answered it, you can click back to game board, and that brings you back to your grid where your students can now call out the next categories. Now, one of the things you'll need to do is figure out a way to keep track of who answered what and what points they have. So, you might want to add an extra slide at the end for tallying up scores or just keep a tally on a separate sheet of paper or on your whiteboard. But that's how you can take a, a copy of my Jeopardy game board template and modify it for your own needs. Again, I've linked up down below the link for this template as well as a video that will show you how I made the template to begin with. And for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.